What's up everybody? I'm Matt. And I'm Beth. And today we're going to be reviewing the interior in the brand new 2020 Nissan Sentra. So the Sentra is completely redesigned here for 2020 and man, they made a huge leap up. The old Sentra was nothing special, that's for sure, especially with a very strong competitors in this segment. Um, the old Sentra was not great. This is really jumped to, I think, honestly, the best in its class in many, many ways. It's just so impressive. It's just more plush and luxurious, the soft touch materials in most places. You have very cool designs here with these three little vents and, um, you know, some stuff that actually you know is plastic but looks like metal and uh you know just you know all the stitching and everything it's just very impressive now that is stuff you get usually with this sr premium trim and the sr trim so that is you know reserved for some of the more expensive trims you don't get it quite as much of the fancy stuff on the lower trims but um still with how this vehicle is priced this one is like uh twenty four and a half thousand dollars um there's a couple options on this one that drives it up to about twenty five and a half but you can get the same vehicle with the same features basically for twenty four and a half and compared to the competition i think you get some really impressive stuff yeah it is very luxurious to me honestly if you didn't tell me what car this was i wouldn't expect it to be a nissan that's for sure yeah <laughs> and that's a very big compliment honestly. yeah so it's not the rental car nissan you know you're used to at least for these nicer you know trims um but yeah so anyway first thing sitting down in these seats you have the leatherette seats here in the sr premium and um, they feel really good and uh, you know they're heated seats here as well um and this isn't even the nicest seating option because in the sv premiums you can actually option them with quilted tan leather no other vehicle in this uh, segment will offer any kind of quilted leather and you know to have quilted leather in a vehicle of this class is very impressive that's something that only Audi had a few years ago and now it's spreading out to other companies so amazing that a Nissan Sentra can have that and again those are right around twenty four and a half thousand dollars too so really strong value there and they're comfortable seats yeah I they think. are really nice they are comfortable for sure I really like the contrast stitching all around here because it does make it seem way more high-end i think honestly yeah i think it looks nice and it's everywhere i mean it's on the armrest you even have it on this padding for the center uh, transmission tunnel area here and aside from this nissan only mazda pads this area and you know it might be a minor thing but when you're driving on long trips resting your knee on hard plastic versus resting it on padding like this it's a big it's a big improvement and so it's great that they have that that really ups the luxuriousness of this right away with that but yeah it's on the doors on the seats steering on, wheel on the dashboard it's everywhere and it looks it's in sharp. the back too yeah yeah it's they did a really good job with uh, you know making this feel more upscale the steering wheel is also fantastic in the center has a great nine and three grip nice little ten and two notches and a flat bottom the leather doesn't feel super premium or anything i think like honda's leather steering wheels feel a little nicer but it's not bad and uh, you know these have a few buttons here on it and uh, you know pretty simple there so very straightforward you also have great gauges here in the Sentra and you have a nice large I think it's a seven inch display there in the middle that's full color and gives you all kinds of great information in there pretty customizable and so nice to have that as well but just simple easy straightforward gauges coming over to the center here you have this fantastic uh, I believe it's a eight inch uh, touchscreen display I think some of the lower trims you do get a seven inch display um, yeah, but it's nice it has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and I believe that's also standard here in all the centers and uh, you know is a good system um, it's not the best it's a little bit slow sometimes and and you know it's not amazing but you do have these uh, hard buttons beneath it and I do like that at least it's a normal touchscreen because one of the other more luxurious competitors in this segment the Mazda 3 forces you to use a controller knob and it's a very convoluted process Confusing. to go through things yeah yeah so uh, I like this as touchscreen it's easier you have a volume and a tune knob nice and simple not trying to reinvent the wheel I love it and so Actually, for that reason, yeah, there's really no complaints, and um, it's quick enough. Beneath the screen here, you have these three little vents, which are a very cool design, kind of inspired by uh, the Germans, the Audis, and stuff like that, But and even the Mercedes, for that matter, but a uh, cool little setup. And then you have just nice, clear, simple climate controls. This is also where you'll find your heated seat and heated steering wheel control. They didn't mention that for the steering wheel, but this is a heated steering wheel, and that's also something that very few competitors offer, and the few that do reserve it for really high trims, generally, um, 
aside from, I think the only competitor that does it around the same price point is the Volkswagen Jetta. Um, but really nice to have a heated steering wheel. You might not, you know, if you've never had a heated steering wheel before, it might not be a big deal. But once you get used to that, that is something that would make this a must-have feature and put the Sentra above all the com competitors that don't offer it. So that's really nice to have. And for a car that is 24 and a half, I really think that this is so nice to be able to have that heated steering wheel. I'm I'm actually pretty impressed. I'm very yeah. impressed. And she drives a 2019 Mercedes C-Class, yeah. so <laughs> that's high praise again. Um, so yeah, that's it's a really nice interior. And beneath the climate controls here, you have uh, this little cubby, which is rubberized. You have a power outlet, a USB jack, a USB-C jack, and an auxiliary jack. So you got all your hookups there. Uh, so great to have that in this rubberized surface means that your phone's not going to be sliding all over the place. You also have two cup holders here, which are a good size, a little slot behind the shifter as well for the key or something like that. One odd thing is that the um, e-brake is still on the floor here. It's like an extra pedal you push, like you're in a pickup truck or something. So that's kind of weird, considering all the other stuff either has an electronic handbrake these days, or you still have just a crank up one um, and some other models. But um, So that's a little odd, but not a big deal. Most people don't bother with an e-brake most of the time, so not a deal breaker there or anything uh, but then yeah you have this nice this padded center armrest that's really plush padding great for resting your elbow on you open that up and you have this massive cubby i mean it is yeah, super that's deep. big yeah i mean i think you know maybe the honda civic is a little bit bigger but i think this beats everything aside from the civic as far as i mean that is massive so again you can fit a, a big gulp in there you could, yeah. I mean, you could probably almost fit like a gallon of milk almost in there. It's huge. <laughs> it's pretty impressive. So, yeah, it's uh, really uh, well done. You also have pockets in the doors of the bottle holder. And uh, so great there. Also, this SR Premium trim with this premium package on it has a Bose stereo, which is eight speakers. Usually, if you don't go with a premium package, it's only a six-speaker system. I think base models, it's a four or something. But having the Bose upgrade is also a nice option obviously branded stereos are hit or miss this one sounds pretty good though we were testing it out and the clarity of the vocals and everything it was very impressive actually and so i think if you're into music you're going to be pretty happy with this bose system and that is also something that a lot of the competitors don't offer an upgraded stereo like honda offers it in the top versions of the civic but it's not a branded stereo it's just honda's own thing volkswagen doesn't have any kind of upgrade for the jetta uh, unless you go for the gli versions and um you know so there's a lot of others that you know i think with toyota you gotta go for a jbl stereo but that's only in the higher trims and that's way more expensive than twenty four and a half thousand like this so again just the sheer amount of content you get here in the center for twenty four and a half thousand get a bow stereo heated steering wheel uh, all these types of things it's just really impressive i mean they jam packed this thing with features for the money and um, it's impressive i think the only one that outperforms this slightly depending on what you want is the kia forte that you can get cooled seats but you don't get a heated steering wheel so you have to kind of decide which uh, feature you want more yeah that's a, that's a tough one <laughs> between those two but aside from that i mean the forte matches this uh, pretty closely um that's the only competitor but everything else is going to be way more expensive for you know similar features and so i think that's where the nissan is a huge huge uh, bargain in that regard but moving on to the back seat here in the Sentra, you have a pretty spacious back seat. So um, it is a little bit wider here for this new Sentra. So you got a little bit more elbow room than you did in the past, but they did lower the car two inches as well. So they didn't really say if they gave up much headroom. I didn't have any issues with headroom personally. I'm five foot nine, uh, and then me sitting behind myself, I have about three inches of legroom to spare back there. So got a little bit of uh, you know spare space. And you also, when you look forward, you'll see that you have a additional USB jack there. There's also full down center armrest with two cup holders built into it. And then there's also uh, bottle holders in the doors too. So a really nice back seat. I think, again, the only back seat that might outdo it is the Honda Civic is a little bit more spacious and also the Volkswagen Jetta is pretty close and both the Civic and the Jetta give you an option for heated rear seats in this segment which is also kind of a rare thing um, and this does not have that option you know something that's available um, so again not depends on how big of a deal heated rear seats are you know most people in this segment probably don't care that much but nice that those do offer that and this doesn't but again the value here in this is really strong trunk space in the center is also fantastic it's a very wide very long trunk right in line with all the best in this segment you know and so plenty of trunk space here for the Sentra. but yeah so that's about all our thoughts here in the 2020 Sentra. overall 
super impressed and you know the Sentra doesn't have the most power uh, compared to some of the competitors like the Mazda 3 it has a nicer interior and more power but you have the quirks of the Mazda which we kind of complained about you can go watch our video on the Mazda 3 if you're curious you know so there's definitely give and take but I think if performance isn't your number one priority and you're just looking for a really luxurious commuter in this segment you know you just want something to get you from point a to point b with all these nice features and have it at a really good price i think the sensor is probably your best bet honestly yeah it's definitely really nice and even sure. though you know i like horsepower and luxury and stuff i would take this over mazda 3 just because even though you have less power you have a head you have a head unit that isn't a headache to use you have a normal center bin that opens up the way people expect it to all these things that the mazda was just a little too quirky and i think this gives you everything you want and uh, does it at a really good price so yeah i'm really impressed with the new Sentra. yeah That's it's crazy. great but yeah, so that's all our thoughts. Let us know your thoughts on the Sentra in the comments below. Thank you guys very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Take, Take care. care.